It all starts with Bonnie Altmaier being imprisoned for killing her abusive husband leaving Harley, her eldest child to take care of his three younger sisters when all he wants to do is have fun with girls because that is all he thinks about two years later a 19-year-old Harley drives home to find out that Amber his 16-year-old promiscuous and rebellious sister is going out on a date instead of babysitting her sisters Harley confronts her but Amber teases him about not having a life and states that he is desperate to get laid by a girl later that night Harley who works in a supermarket spots his neighbor Kelly Mercer shopping and become shy around her as he does not have a social life Callie asks about the girls and tells him that it's fun shopping alone without her kids as she left them at home with her husband Brad Harley returns home from his night duties but gets disturbed by Amber's sexual moment with her partner at least someone in the family is getting laid however Harley manages to send him away by shooting in the air waking the girls up in the process he then drags the couch outside and burns it while the girls watch on the next morning. Harley and Jody visit Bonnie in prison and Bonnie is excited to see them but Harley doesn't feel the same way as he already disowned her she asks for Misty but Harley does not allow her to tag. Along his fights between the girls drive him crazy Bonnie also finds out that Amber has started dating but she believes that her daughter is old enough to look out for herself later on while they talk Harley gets emotional and faints shortly after forcing the guards to return Bonnie to her cell. After she tries to care for her son afterward Farley meets with his therapist who asks if he has any close relatives to watch over the girls since he doesn't want Amber to do so but hardly reveals that no one wants to talk to them because of Bonnie she then asks if he would likely see his mother again and if he liked his father but Harley becomes uncomfortable and leaves even though his session isn't over on getting home Callie invites him into her house where she offers him a meal and a beer the two bond over art and Harley returns home to the girls during dinner he sees Amber wearing his shirt with nothing underneath and asks her to take it off however Amber decides to strip right in front of him and her sisters prompting Harley to stop her Amber then questions him for not allowing her to get a driving license and Harley explains that he doesn't make enough money nevertheless Amber doesn't listen to him and demands that he get a job that pays much while they eat Harley discovers that Callie dropped by to give him some gifts an art book and a recipe causing Amber to ask if he's turning into her. Amber also seems jealous of Callie and questions her dressing style as she continues to tease Harley about her friend getting intimate with him a few days later Callie bumps into Harley at the supermarket once again and asks if he got the book Harley thanks her and they talk about the art book before Callie leaves later on Uncle Mike visits the kids and Amber asks of his son Mike Jr. Uncle Mike shows them a picture album of Mike but Harley and Amber make fun of him prompting Mike to leave Harley apologizes to him as they were joking but Mike says that a lot of people are jealous of Mike's success and laugh to make fun of him Uncle Mike drives off angrily and Amber thinks that they don't need him however Harley states otherwise as they lay down in the field together later at night Harley wakes up from an attack and runs to Callie for help however the two soon start getting intimate with each other as Harley finally becomes a man the next morning Callie leaves him all alone in the woods and he returns home disappointed upon arrival Misty nearly takes his head off with a rifle and he warns Misty not to use his gun again but she informs him that she's now an adult as she already started puberty at night Callie meets Harley at the store and she apologizes for what happened between them she says that it shouldn't have happened as she's 10 years older than him and she is married with two kids but Harley tells her that he only thinks about her but which intrigues Callie he tries to kiss her but the kids interrupt them and Carrie asks him to stop over later on getting back into the store the manager informs him about the complaint a customer made and warns him never to let it happen Again after work Carly stops by Callie's house and she questions him about the attack last night but 
Harley tells her that he wants to make love to her. They soon start kissing and share an intimate moment once again. The next morning Kelly wonders when she would see him next due to their busy lives, but Harley decides to quit one of his jobs to be with her because he is finally getting some Fun not long after he returns home and Amber tells him that she found a thousand dollars in Misty's room and he leaves to confront her. Misty informs him that the money is hers as she's the one that found it even though it's Bonnie's savings as she was trying to escape from her abusive husband. Enraged Amber slaps her and forcefully collects the money from her. She then asks Harley if she can get a license with the money but Harley tells her that he needs to pay for the house tax which is due in two weeks and Amber leaves the house angrily later that day Harley visits Callie and asks why she has not been calling him Kelly explains that he has two jobs and she doesn't know when he would be at home to answer the call but Harley doesn't care he kisses her and makes love to her inside despite her son being around soon after Harley discovers that Misty killed her Kitten after Callie hands him a letter written by Jody excited for their next meeting Harley proposes that they go to an abandoned mining office by railroad and Callie decided to join him later on Harley and Callie meet at the abandoned mining office after making love Kelly asks him if she was his first woman and apologizes for ruining his first experience but hardly assures her that it was the best moment of his life Kelly then suggests that they meet at the mining office every Wednesday and mix out with Harley but she leaves him again the next morning Harley needs the therapist and asks if a kid thinks that it's okay to get hit because he thinks that it's normal he also asks her what she thinks about sexually abused kids and if she knows about Misty the therapist tries to find out if Misty was molested at a young age but Harley does not answer and leaves the office sad Harley returns home and finds out that Amber is moving out to stay with her male friend although he tries to stop her Amber does not listen and leaves stating that it's his fault but Harley doesn't understand the situation he returns inside the house with a sad and Jody and she tells him that Misty said something to Amber which made her angry Harley asks for the details but Jody does not know because they talked in the room but she heard them mentioning his name while they talk Harley asks her what she saw the day their father died and she tells him that Misty was at home that day she adds that it was Bonnie who took Misty to the store before returning to Barry Misty's clothes upon hearing this Harley immediately figures out that Misty killed their father and Bonnie took the fall the next morning Harley visits his mother and tells her about the money Misty found he also asks her about their father's true killer and although Bonnie tries to evade the question she reluctantly reveals that Misty is responsible for their father's death Harley becomes Angry at her for taking the blame as Misty would have received help however body reveals that Misty was aiming to shoot her as she was jealous of her and their father becomes aggressive stating that she is crazy and he is forcefully escorted out of the prison I'm getting home he finds out that Harley has returned and wonders why she fell for Dylan even though he beats her later that Night Harley picks up his gun and heads over to Callie's house but she scolds him for coming over. When Brad is around she informs him that she can't jeopardize her family for him but Harley tells her that he loves her he asks if she could stay with him forever but Kelly tells him that they should stick to the mining office plans the next morning Amber meets Harley at work to inform him that she is leaving to stay with Dylan permanently but hardly refuses to let her go because Dylan assaults her occasionally and begs her to stay after returning home Harley wakes up suddenly in the middle of the night and gets scared as Amber is on the bed with him undressed Amber tells him that she knows about him and Callie but Harley runs out of the house in fear the following day Harley needs the therapist and informs her that he remembers that Amber used to touch him inappropriately when they were kids he adds that she was afraid of their father and he allowed her to stay in his room because he was afraid of him too the therapist comforts him saying that he's not a bad person as they were just turning to each other for comfort because of their 
abusive father she tells him to be gentle and compassionate towards Ambo as she is going through a lot just like he is Harley returns home and Misty tells him that she heard his argument with Amber he finally confronts her about what she did but Misty says that their father does not like her the way he likes their mother because he never hit her she tells him that he should have pulled the trigger instead because Bonnie never cared about them it's Wednesday and Harley rushes to the mining office but discovers that Callie is already dead he soon spots Amber across the railroad with his gun and she informs him that she didn't know what else to do as no one would take care of her Harley drives to the police station to confess to the crime he gets questioned by a cop and asks if he can make a phone call he calls Uncle Mike to talk to Jody but he says that she is sleeping and he can't wake her the cop is confused at why he killed Callie since he loves her and he isn't a bad guy but Harley says that he has a double personality soon after the therapist visits Harley at the prison and asks that he opens up to her for her to help him as she knows that he didn't kill Carly but Harley insists that he belongs in jail he leaves for his cell and the movie ends as Harley reads the letter Jody sent to him.